Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing great today. In today's lesson, we're going to look at how to create a dynamic listener. It is also a good practice to create more than one listener for your database. And this is what we're going to look at in this lecture. So as you can see, I'm already at a location where I have my listener configuration files. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is come to the tnsnames.ora file and then open it. And then I want to take the whole of this entry. I'll copy it. And then come here and paste. Okay. As usual, I give a space. And then I'll rename this I rename this to be listener five, and then I'll change the port number to one five two eight, and then I'll save this file and close it. I'll also come here, listener.ora. I'll open it, and then I'll also copy this entry. I'll come here and paste it. And then the name will be listener five and the port will be one, five, two, eight. And then I'm going to remove this second line. And then I'll also remove this line. And remove this bracket as well. Okay. Okay, so I'll save this and then close the file. Now, the next thing I want to do is to open a terminal and then connect as the SysDBA. And then I'll do show parameter local okay so now remember the topic of this lecture is how to create a dynamic listener so we have our local listener which is listener underscore orcl and then we also have another listener which is listener five okay so for us to be able to use that listener we need to redefine the listener value again and then include that listener so this is what we want to do right now now to do that we are going to use the command alter system set local underscore listener equal to now take note of this double quotation listener underscore orcl which is the first listener okay then comma then the second listener which is listener five and then we close the quotation mark and then of course our semicolon to execute the statement so i'll enter this and then you can see that the system has been altered okay now if i issue the command again show parameter local you now see that our local listener the value for our local listener is listener underscore orcl which is the first one and then listener five which is the second one right so we're going to exit this and then we'll do LSNRCTL to start the listener utility. So we are right now at the listener utility, right? So the next thing we want to do is to start listener five. Okay, now you can see that 
the listener has been started, but it supports no services. So as usual, we'll wait for 60 seconds for it to register all of the services. Okay. So let's wait for 60 seconds. So if I type status, you can see that the second listener, which is listener five, has been able to register all of the services correctly, right? So let's go to our SQL developer and then let's see if we can connect through the client area, right? We'll come here and then say properties. Now, this is the first port for the default listener, which is listener underscore ORCL. If you try to test the connection, it shows you success. So let's try using the other ports, 1528, and say test connection. You can see it's still successful. So guys, you can use this second listener, listener five, to also connect to your database. So in summary, this is how you create a dynamic listener. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was interesting to you. If it was, kindly like it and share it widely. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell icon so you don't miss out whenever I upload another valuable content. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.